right, today what I'm going to be showing y'all is nothing to do with bodybuilding or anything like that. That's going to take a few minutes before I show you that. But what I'm going to show y'all is that when I let my dogs go, I always have to let them go on the days that I'm off so that they will uh, it kind of relieve the stress on them of being tied up. And I allow them to run around in the woods and do what they want to do and have whatever kind of fun they want to have. And they do the exact same thing every time. I think it's hilarious. Anyway, here you go. Down, down. You ready? Alright. 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 Get out. This right here is my oldest dog. She's a little bit more tame than this young one. Alright. Watch right, that. They do this every time. The exact same way, the exact same thing. Every time. I find that hilarious. Now they'll be gone for about uh, two hours, two hours or so. Anyway, back to our schedule program. Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is overtraining. And I'm going to be talking about overtraining in a way that most of us do not consider because the uh, fitness YouTubers and uh, general system itself doesn't really explain a whole lot of things or uh, make you aware of a lot of things in uh, everyday life because again most of the things that they do is uh, uh, a type of fantasy type thing is made up it's TV man anyway what I'm talking about today is uh, injuries and how easy it is for you to uh, injure yourself because of you not paying attention to the things that you do when you are working out or when you have worked out. For instance, years ago I was working uh, at Walmart and uh, I, that particular day was a shoulder day so I did shoulders and stuff like that and uh, I'm doing the workouts from that Arnold Encyclopedia. And uh, you know, those uh, exercises are designed for people that are enhanced. Uh, that's one thing that they don't tell you. The system don't tell you that. So you're already overtrained then. Oh, but I did that particular workout, overtrained the shoulders, blah, 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 blah. All right. I go to work that night. Nobody talks about you having a job. Everybody just talk about the YouTube thing. You know, like everybody just do nothing but YouTube. But I had to go to work that night. And that particular night, I was uh, stacking dog food. And I'm, I'm stacking this dog food. We took my 50 pound bags of dog food that I do from time to time. I was kind of used to it. But it was like a, a 16 foot run, 16 by, uh, what is it, six foot, some, something like that. And you're stacking the dog food about a little over four feet high. So you got to fill that shelf up. So I'm doing it. I don't even know how many bags of dog food it is that I actually uh, stacked every 
so often. But it was it was a few bags, fifty pound bags of dog food. But you're young, you're not thinking about none of that. Because you are powerful, you have this God like strength, and you really never really worry about none of that kind of stuff. So go to work, start stacking the dog food, and I get a few bags away from finishing, maybe four bags. And I feel it's catching my shoulder. And it feels like it's deep down inside of the uh, joint area. And uh, I knew then something wasn't quite right. Um, I stopped stacking the dog food, I rested. And uh, I checked my shoulder, I could move my shoulder, I could move it up and down, back and forward and stuff like that. But from time to time, I'll have this like shooting pain that would run down my arm uh, over the years. Still had use of the shoulder, uh, still can uh, press with it and stuff like that. Never really stopped anything. But that right there goes to show you that uh, once you injure something, it, it may heal, but it may, it, it, it may not heal correctly. It may not heal like it's supposed to heal. And uh, I think that's what happened to me uh, during that particular time, because from then until now, uh, my shoulders have never been the same again. That shoulder, at least in a way. Um, I could press uh, pretty good over overhead presses. You know, I used to be able to do uh, four plates. I used to be able to do 225 overhead presses and uh, there's no way that I can get to that weight now. And at the same time, uh, with me being as old as I am, I don't even try anymore. Uh, so I I'm, I'm trying to save what's left. But I say that to say this, always be aware of your workouts. Always be aware of your job if you have one of those physical jobs because you may not overdo it with the workout. You know what I mean? Or you may be on the brink after the workout. You also have to consider that uh, physical job that you have. Even though you know your muscles are tired, you go do this physical job, that right there is what take you overboard. You end up with an injury that you will uh, that you'll live with for the rest of your life. That's just the way it, in, it ends up. Uh, just always be aware of that. I know those uh, fitness YouTubers don't tell you about things like that, but I'm gonna be the one to tell you. No matter what, always be aware of overtraining. It's a real thing. They tell you it's not, but it's a real thing. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.